Welcome to a speculative journey into the realm of planetary what-ifs. Today we step across the threshold of reality and into a world of imagination, guided by the light of scientific speculation. Our destination, Venus. Our objective, to explore a fascinating scenario. What if Venus, our closest planetary neighbor, harbored an Earth-like atmosphere? Our current understanding of Venus paints a rather bleak picture. Although often referred to as Earth's twin due to its similar size and composition, Venus is anything but a sibling to our blue planet. It's a world of extremes, shrouded in a thick, toxic atmosphere largely composed of carbon dioxide with traces of nitrogen and sulfuric acid. The surface, a barren, rocky landscape, is scorched by temperatures reaching a blistering 470 degrees Celsius, hot enough to melt lead. The atmospheric pressure on Venus is about 92 times that of Earth, equivalent to being about 900 meters underwater on Earth. Such extreme conditions make Venus the hottest planet in our solar system, even more so than Mercury, the planet closest to the Sun. This is due to Venus's dense atmosphere causing a runaway greenhouse effect, where the heat from the Sun is trapped and cannot escape, making the planet's surface an inhospitable hell. But let's indulge in a bit of cosmic daydreaming. What if we could magically alter Venus's harsh conditions? What if we could strip away its thick, suffocating atmosphere and replace it with one more akin to Earth's? One filled with a life-sustaining mix of nitrogen, oxygen and a smattering of other gases. What if the scorching, crushing environment of Venus could be transformed into a haven for life? In the next scenes, we'll dive deeper into this hypothetical scenario, exploring the monumental challenges and thrilling possibilities of such a venture. But for now, let's marvel at the prospect of a Venus reborn, a testament to the power of imagination and the limitless potential of scientific exploration. But what if we could magically alter Venus's harsh conditions? To envision Venus with an Earth-like atmosphere, we'd need to initiate a massive terraforming endeavor. Terraforming, a term coined from science fiction, refers to the hypothetical process of modifying a planet's environment to make it Earth-like. And when it comes to Venus, the task is monumental. Imagine standing on a world where the sky is a thick yellow haze, the ground is hot enough to melt lead, and the air pressure is like being a kilometer deep in Earth's oceans. This is Venus, a planet that couldn't be more different from our own. But let's pretend we have the technology and resources to reshape this inhospitable world. The first hurdle in transforming Venus would be to tackle its runaway greenhouse effect. Venus's dense atmosphere is made up almost entirely of carbon dioxide, trapping heat and making the planet's surface hotter than a household oven. To counteract this, we'd need to reduce the atmospheric carbon dioxide levels drastically. This could potentially be accomplished by sequestering it underground, or perhaps even converting it into other substances using advanced technologies yet to be developed. But reducing the carbon dioxide levels is just the first step. The next big task would be to introduce nitrogen and oxygen into Venus's atmosphere. This would involve transporting vast quantities of these gases from elsewhere in the solar system or perhaps even manufacturing them on site using more of those yet to be developed technologies. We'd need to create an atmosphere with a similar composition to Earth's, about 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen and 1% other gases. This is no small feat. It would require colossal efforts, likely involving the deployment of space-based infrastructure for atmospheric manipulation. We're talking about fleets of spacecraft, perhaps even automated drones, working round the clock for centuries, maybe even millennia, to transform Venus's atmosphere. The process would undoubtedly be arduous and time-consuming, possibly spanning centuries or even millennia. We'd be undertaking a project on a scale far beyond anything humanity has ever attempted. But if successful, the transformation of Venus could be nothing short of miraculous. By replacing Venus's thick, carbon dioxide-rich atmosphere with one similar to Earth's, we could potentially transform this scorching, high-pressure world into a much more hospitable place. Imagine Venus with blue skies, breathable air and temperatures that allow water to exist in its liquid state. The planet's surface could be adorned with oceans, forests and maybe even life. So as we stand on the precipice of a new era of space exploration, we can dare to dream. 
We can imagine a future where humanity has not only set foot on distant worlds, but reshaped them into new homes. It's a future where Venus, our sister planet, has been transformed from a hellish, inhospitable world into a second Earth. A future where the impossible has become possible. But if successful, the transformation of Venus could be nothing short of miraculous. Imagine, if you will, the once inferno-like planet now donning a new avatar, a verdant gem in the cosmic ocean. The erstwhile barren landscape, now a tableau of vibrant hues, with lush green forests, flowing rivers and vast, shimmering oceans. The raging temperatures that once reigned supreme would be tamed, replaced by a temperate climate. Liquid water, the elixir of life, would flow freely across its surface, carving out river valleys, filling up basins to form vast oceans and nourishing the burgeoning life on the planet. Venus's skies, once a cauldron of toxic gases, would now be a spectacle of ever-changing patterns, a canvas painted with fluffy clouds, rainbows and breathtaking sunsets. Gentle rains would fall, not of sulfuric acid as in Venus's past, but of pure fresh water nurturing the fertile soil below and aiding in the growth of diverse ecosystems. And within these ecosystems, life could flourish. In this hypothetical scenario, Venus could become home to a myriad of life forms, from single-celled organisms in the oceans to complex multicellular entities on land, the planet could become a cradle of life, teeming with biodiversity. Perhaps the transformation would also pave the way for human colonization. With its newfound habitability, Venus might become a second home for humanity, a refuge for our species in the cosmic expanse. The first Venusian settlers might carve out thriving communities, harnessing the planet's resources to build a civilization on this new world. This Venusian society could become a melting pot of interplanetary cooperation, a testament to humanity's technological prowess and cooperative spirit. Scientists from across the solar system could converge on Venus, studying its transformed environment, its native life forms, and the long-term effects of terraforming on a planetary scale. Venus could also serve as a launchpad for further space exploration. Its proximity to Earth and its location within the solar system could make it an ideal staging ground for missions to the outer planets and beyond. In this alternate reality, Venus, once a symbol of harsh, inhospitable conditions, could become a beacon of hope, a testament to our species' resilience and ingenuity. It would stand as a shining example of what can be achieved when humanity sets its sights on a goal, no matter how ambitious, and works together to make it a reality. So as we gaze upon the distant dream of a Venus with an Earth-like atmosphere, we are reminded of the boundless possibilities that lie ahead. The idea fuels our curiosity, propelling us to dream bigger, reach further and strive harder in our quest to understand and inhabit the universe. Perhaps in this alternate reality, Venus would become a beacon of interplanetary cooperation and scientific exploration. But for now, this scenario remains a captivating thought experiment, a fascinating glimpse into a future that may or may not come to pass. So, while the reality of Venus with an Earth-like atmosphere remains a distant dream, it's a dream that speaks volumes about our collective imagination and our innate drive to explore. We've embarked on this speculative journey, not because it's a likely reality, but because it's a possibility that stirs the human spirit. Imagine the thrill of exploring new landscapes, of discovering new life forms, of standing on a distant world reborn and looking up into a sky dotted with unfamiliar constellations. Such a reality might be centuries or even millennia away. But the mere thought of it is enough to ignite a spark of wonder, a curiosity that propels us forward in our quest for knowledge. This boundless curiosity is not just about Venus, or about transforming inhospitable worlds into livable ones. It's about us. It's about our insatiable thirst for understanding, our relentless pursuit of the unknown, our unwavering hope for a future where we are not just inhabitants of Earth, but citizens of the cosmos. In this vast universe, we are but a tiny speck, and yet we dare to dream big. We dare to envision a time when our descendants might gaze upon the Earth from the surface of another world, a testament to our ingenuity and the power of human cooperation. 
In the grand scheme of things, the transformation of Venus might seem like a lofty goal, one that's far beyond our current capabilities. But it's these lofty goals, these seemingly impossible dreams, that have shaped our history and will undoubtedly shape our future. As we stand on the precipice of a new era of interplanetary exploration, we are reminded of the power of dreams, the resilience of the human spirit, and the limitless potential that lies within us all. We are reminded that we are explorers, pioneers, dreamers, and so, even as we look to the stars with a sense of awe and wonder, we also look inward, reflecting on our own potential, our own capacity for greatness. It serves as a poignant reminder of humanity's boundless curiosity.